morning, Harper Creek. It's time for your s s school news. If you're interested in the close-up trip to Washington, D.C., see Mr. Rio this week. If you were at the meeting, then turn in your form to Mr. Rio. Seniors, the FAFSA website is now open. The free application for federal student aid must be completed as part of the college application and scholarship process. Please visit to create an account and submit your application. Want a chance to earn a free yearbook? Stop by the main office or see Mrs. Gardner for more information on selling butter braids. Attention dual enrolled students. KCC classes are now available for spring semester. Registration opens on October 28th. Please come prepared to your counselor with the class number and section along with the days and times in order to have the tuition approval form sent through. Now for a segment from Officer Mackey. Hey, coming to you live, just want to talk to you a minute in Mackey's Minute about homecoming and being safe. So this weekend, we have a lot of big festivities. It's really important that you drive safely, that you don't drive under the influence, don't partake in alcohol or any other substances, and just be really safe. We want to have a great homecoming, and we don't want any tragedy to overshadow that. As you uh, can see here, I was just uh, having a quiet time here sitting by my fire doing a little thinking and I want to invite you all to follow my Instagram for work. So uh, I got this little Instagram that I'm dropping and we'll drop that down but it's HC underscore Mackey. It's M-A-C-K-E-Y. So go ahead and give me a follow and uh, keep up to date on all the safety happenings. We are going to change the safety committee. Safety committee sounds really boring. Ain't nobody got time for that. We want something exciting and something that's going to inspire action. So we're thinking maybe safety, we'll get back to you on that with an announcement soon. Go Beavers. Hi, my name's Abby Honeycutt, and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who participated or volunteered or um, attempted to donate at the blood drive. 70 lives were saved, so that's amazing. And our next one is in November, so you guys can see me for more information. Thank you. Attention seniors, on October 15th, there will be a representative from Adrian College hosting a meeting for interested and eligible seniors on how to apply for a full tuition scholarship being offered to one Harbor Creek High School class of 2020 graduate. For eligibility and sign-up information, please stop by the counseling office as soon as possible. This afternoon will be the homecoming pep assembly. Right after school will be a homecoming tailgate with multiple food options for purchase. The presentation of homecoming court will be at 4 p.m. on the football field. The football game kickoff will be at 4.30 p.m. Also, don't forget the homecoming dance will be tomorrow, Saturday, October 12th from 8 to 11. I'm Bailey. And I'm Kaylee. Here's a sports update and a special segment on the girls golf and swim teams and marching band. Have, Have a, a great, great homecoming, homecoming Friday. I'm Alex. And I'm Elijah. <laughs> and, and welcome, welcome back to Beaver Sports Live. So starting off this week, we're going on to boys tennis. They won 5-3 to three against Lakewood earlier this week. Having a good season so far. The young volleyball team is having a pretty good season. A lot of rough competition. They're 1-3 and three in the league with some rough upcoming teams. Next Wednesday, they play Parma at home. Good luck, girls. Let's go. Now on to boys and girls cross country. Boys are having a real good season. They're in first in the I-8 right now. Girls are in fifth. Keep working, girls. Let's go. The cross country team has a meet this Saturday at Sturgis. Wish them luck. Now moving on to girls golf, here's a segment with one of the captains. Hi, my name is Kelly McCafferty. I'm the captain of the girls golf team. This season we placed fourth in our conference and uh, Lauren Reed, our number one golfer, received all conference and Marlene Bustler received honorable mention all conference. We won all city and we placed six at regionals and every single member of our team received a personal bus this year. Now on to girls swimming, they're having a real good season, still undefeated. Check out this quick segment with Coach Buck. Go Blue! 
Coach Buck here to talk about the girls swimming and diving team. We are so far having an excellent season and very proud of these gals. We, uh, in case you don't know, we have morning practices and afternoon practices and they're working very hard. Some of our highlights so far is that we've made states in the 200 medley relay, the 400 free relay, as well as some individual qualifiers. Uh, we have Sam Hilfert who has made it in the fly and we just got last night uh, Sarah Thompson in the 500 free. And uh, obviously we know that Alyssa Wager is a very strong swimmer for us. She is actually qualified in every event that's out there. So that is a big accomplishment for her and it's a goal that she had was to try out every event and make states. She has done that last night was the last one where she also qualified in the 500 free as well. So she's an uh, ex excellent swimmer and breaking records and as we know she just was uh, athlete of the week uh, a week or so ago. Tomorrow we are going to be going to MISCA, which is actually an invite for elite athletes across the state of Michigan, and we will be going up to Calvin College and performing up there on Saturday uh, and hurrying back to get back to the dance for uh, homecoming. Next week we have a big meet. We are so far undefeated in our dual meet and we have a meet against Plainwell. Plainwell right now is probably the toughest people that we will have to go against. So um, hopefully you can come by and cheer us on. The meet is home next Tuesday, or sorry, this coming Tuesday. We are swimming against Plainwell. Let's pack those stands. Let those, let those guys know and these guys know that you support Harper Creek Swimming and Diving. Thank you so much. Have you heard what week it is? I don't think so. It's homecoming. It's homecoming? That's right. Jackson Lumen Christie, tonight, be there! Our boys will need our help in this upset victory against Jackson Lumen Christie. We gotta go crazy. Go blue! What, what's the student section team pick? You guessed it, blue and white. Be there at 4.30, have fun. Let's go. Closing this week's Beaver Sports Live, check out Mr. Greenman's Twitter page for any updates on Harper Creek Sports. Greetings, Harper Creek Beavers. Big day here, homecoming. Pep assembly today, game tonight, well, actually this afternoon. 4.30, as you know, is a kickoff. Playing a good team in Jackson Lumen Christie. Like all of our athletic events, we want our student body to be there, showing lots of spirit. So hopefully you'll be there this afternoon to help the football team out. Hopefully we'll be celebrating in the end zone at the end of the game. Also, I just wanted to make sure everyone knew that uh, Harper Creek Athletics is on Twitter. We'd love to, for you to follow us on Twitter. So so look right here below. Supposedly, they're flashing uh, the, the Twitter, I don't know, is it an address? Is that what you call it? Whatever it is. Follow us. We try to keep things updated. Fall, winter, spring, uh, all of our athletic events. So follow us on Twitter. We'll have the scores. Hopefully this afternoon we'll have a score with Harper Creek beating Lumen Christie. Thanks a lot, and good luck, Beavers. I'm Alex. And I'm Elijah. And thanks for watching Beaver Sports Live! <laughs>is Monica Rosas. I am one of the drum majors of the Harper Creek Marching Band. We went to Vicksburg this Wednesday for a f our festival, which is a marching band competition. We were evaluated by uh, a panel of judges, five being an E and one being an A. We are judged on our performance, our music, and how we marched. And we got a... I'm super proud of all my marching band kids that stuck it out and worked so hard this year. Like Monica said, it's been 16 years since we've gotten a rating this high, at least 16 years, and I just want to give the marching band one big congratulations on seeing all their hard work finally rewarded. Great job, kids. Let's do it again next year.